Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Top Black Music Students Drummer, and yes, I'm taking my glasses off for this one. Because, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, in today's episode, we are pretty much, uh, I am pretty much going to give you a little bit of a tour of my podcast uh, setup. So, if you don't know, I have this podcast called Essential Drummer Podcast. And so, it basically, in this show, I talk about some of the common things that people probably don't know, or uh, some things that people probably do know, but they don't know how to expand. So there's a lot of great stuff on there. And I'm constantly uh, making some episodes. So uh, I'm on Spotify, poc um, Apple Podcasts. So that's a little bit of uh, my thing. I talk about like some musician stuff. But anyway, this is about my setup, not my podcast, but my podcast setup. So, and um, in this podcast, uh, uh, no, in this episode, I'm pretty much going to tell you from start to finish from like, starting your episode the setup and to finishing it and go to actually a publisher without actually spending a lot of money on uh, having a host website so i'm going to give you a little bit of my details so whoop, here is where all the magic begins so this is uh my interface so y'all you have to have an interface to be able to uh record this stuff professionally now you can use your computer microphone and all that but you probably want a good sound so this is a little bit of my setup. Uh, what I have is uh, my uh, inputs are super low because this just, just depends on what type of microphone you have. If you have a microphone that's a condenser mic, it's going to require phantom power. And condenser mics are very loud because of the type of diaphragm it has. So the microphone has like a little diaphragm and it moves and it is very loud and so for condenser mics i always set it uh, uh to zero and all that everything else is pretty much at zero so i don't have to worry about anything and it's good to have a low level i encourage low levels because you always uh boost levels and if you boost it all the way up and all that see this clip thing you do not want your audio to clip at all because it's not a good sound uh, you want to try to have levels uh, down and then gain stage a little bit. So, with this setup, it's USB powered, so it goes uh, all the way to my computer. Hey, it's Pete the Penguin. Stop showing your ass. There we go. So, it's getting plugged in a computer. And first, before we get to the computer, let's uh, follow this uh, wire down here. Woo! Oh, hello, sexy thing. So, this is a common microphone that a lot of people actually use. Uh, condenser mic. So this is, and actually, um, uh, recently I've been hearing about uh, Billy uh, Billy Eilish uh, actually using this microphone for recording uh, some of their stuff. So this is a condenser mic uh, from Audio Technica. I actually got this for a uh, hundred dollars uh, for my birthday, actually, and uh, it's a AT twenty twenty, and nothing Star Wars related or year twenty twenty. And so what this is, this is a cardioid. Uh, condenser mic. Let's uh, try to get that in focus. There we go. Cardio condenser. And you see this little thing right here? That is actually the shape, recording shape. And so this is a cardioid uh, microphone. And that what it means is uh, recording shape. It has a recording shape of this. And there's some microphones that are omni uh, records all around. There's some um, microphones that just record like a very narrow path like dynamic microphones but this uh, condenser it records um, um, a cardioid so it gets a little bit of it has like a heart shape so this is a cool microphone that I use I love it and so now let's get to the computer so this is a little bit of my setup and how I set it up is that each um, each channel is an episode so I already have episode A already done with seven six five four three two one and i just got rid of them that's just me and so with um you can see it's recording a little bit because it's already been on for a while and i usually have uh the eye on sometimes uh that way i can hear myself but sometimes uh, just mess around see what you're uh see what you like sometimes you want to hear yourself sometimes you don't want to hear yourself while you record so i use logic pro x i really love logic pro x um, it, cause it's easy to use and it's not overly complicated. It's like GarageBand. You can pretty much record your podcast on GarageBand and you wouldn't have any problems at all. So let's first talk about, so on this side, it is the, uh, the actual channel, the actual uh, channel that, um, 
uh, is uh, you see where the signal is going. So this is the actual channel. So if I pick other places, you can see that this doesn't move at all. Um, uh, this might be a better example. See, there we go. So let's talk about the intro and all that. The intro, I pretty much uh, don't have too much going on. I have a little bit of reverb, a little bit of compression, uh, not too much compression. So if we play this, you can see it a little compressed. So this is a little bit of my settings uh, that's going on. So let's get rid of that. So let's see here. Uh, so that's a little bit of my intro. Whoops, there we go. So for episode nine and all that, this is a little bit of my setup. So this is, uh, uh, we're gonna go through everything. So we got speech enhancer, compressor, uh, channel EQ, DS or two, and all these are actually Logic uh, uh, plugins uh, that uh, come with uh, Logic Pro X. So uh, we'll go get to the speech enhancer later. So compressor, this is pretty much my setup a little bit for my compressor. Uh, I don't have anything uh, going for gain. I have a little bit of the threshold. I have uh, my uh, ratio at uh, this number. I don't have any makeup gain, but I have uh, auto gain uh, to where it's uh, negative 12 decibels. And my release is this, uh, attack is this. I don't usually do auto and all that. Knee real is not that important, right? so this one. Distortion, all that does is just uh, tries to it automatically becomes a limiter and also automatically tries to bring the signal uh, really up. So it's really cool. And uh, for the sidechain, all I have it as is uh, peak and there's really not too much. I don't have any filters going on. So that's pretty much the whole setup for the compressor. Um, let's see here. So we got EQ. So EQ is just pretty much uh, changing different frequencies. And so what you really don't want low end frequencies because, well, so unless you're a real deep voice. No, so pretty much all these levels are pretty much good. Uh, it's just, you wanna just kinda um, like lower it just a little bit. So you just uh, by like minus 1.5 decibels and then this one is uh, uh, 24 decibels and all that. So, and you can't go wrong with presets and all that. So. Um, look up for the presets and uh, you'll find uh, your sweet spot. Got a de-esser, so I really love the preset for this de-esser, male vocal, and so it does, it does its job. So, all right, let's, the reason why I skipped talking about this first is because there's a special, Logic Pro uh, X has secret plugins and not a lot of people know about uh, these uh, secret plugins. So the best way to find speech enhancer is you're gonna hold option and then you're gonna click and you will find this thing called legacy. And this is a plugin I'm demoing, it's really good. Uh, legacy, and you find all these hidden, these are secret plugins. And so I go to the speech enhancer. Now I got speech and enhancer right here. And there's a little bit of my setup, which is I denoise it by negative 40 decibels um, the mic model, they don't have the mic model I have, uh, cause there's such a big mic selection, but this is pretty much all based on, um, your uh, computer mic, but I'm using this for my condenser mic. So I don't have mic correction on, but I do have voice enhance. And what this says is it actually, it's like a denoiser. It actually focuses on the voice and gets rid of background noise. And I, in my opinion, I kind of feel like this actually does better than the waves, uh, noise reduction plugin. Cause, um, well, they probably have different setups um, for this, but I really love um, Logic's uh, version of this. And so I have a uh, male solo. So that's pretty much my setup for my uh, channels I record. And so it sounds really cool. So listen to my podcast and you actually uh, hear what it sounds like. And let's get to the master um, uh, chain. So the master chain, I pretty much have several things going on. So first off is the IM pressure, which is the infected mushroom pressure. This is uh, actually a tool used for kind of a little bit of mastering. If you're doing EDM stuff, this is really great. If you're doing like rock soft, um, well, it's, uh, it's uh, let's just say it's optional and all that. So I pretty much have a little bit of high because I want to hear, uh, and this is all about uh, what your preferences are. Uh, some people want to hear high frequencies. Uh, some people want a little bit of magic and focus is pretty much like, focusing on a little bit of the voice because the voice is this uh, focus point here. 
So I have the low end off because you really don't hear my boomy voice. You don't want that type of thing. And pusher, I have a little bit of pusher just to maximize the sound. And my output is on negative 0 0.8, so I don't have uh, clipping or anything. And so I got a little bit of stereo spread. The input is just zero. And so that's pretty much that. Uh, direction, uh, direction mixer is pretty much like just to spread out uh, a little bit, like uh, get to, to like a little bit more stereo. Spread actually uh, kind of softens a little bit of the frequencies. It, it kind of like softens it up. So I usually have my settings up like this. Uh, and I usually just spread out the middle, um, a little bit of the middle low. And uh, that's how I like it a little bit. Uh, it sounds nice that way. Next is I have this preset, uh, preset here, uh, voiceover EQ from Logic. And uh, this is uh, just a normal channel EQ, not a linear EQ. So I like that one uh, that has a nice sound for um, podcasting. Now, adaptive limiter, this is a key thing because you don't want clipping in your uh, tracks. So with the IM pusher in this, this is kind of like an adaptive limiter a little bit, uh, this section right here. But it has negative, uh, I usually try to get as low as possible a little bit, but not too low. Because uh, every time you lower it, it kind of uh, does something funny in my opinion. And so I just lower it a little bit. So the total of out of ceiling uh, for um, this true peak detection, make sure you have that on too. So for the peak detection, I try to have it uh, around like maybe uh, minus uh, two decibels. So right now it's at like minus 1.6 decibels. So that's the importance of that. Now the next thing is metering. You want to just uh, make sure that metering is really important for this. So there's only uh, um, two things or just one thing to really uh, look for is uh, the Luffs meter or the peak meter. You don't have to worry about correlation. All that is is uh, just seeing if your tracks are in phase or out of phase. Red is out phase, green is in phase. Luffs is pretty much uh, what it is actually stands for. I don't know the whole thing that it stands for, but basically it's a loudness meter. I usually have it around negative 12. Like I don't want it to peak too often for negative 12, but I just want it to hang out a little bit right in this area. Uh, for my uh, little track so and peak is really important because uh, if your channel is above zero uh, at a peak level then there's going to be a lot of clipping and uh, Spotify and uh, Apple podcast they don't like any clipping at all so uh, they try to uh, make uh, you get penalized for that a little bit so you want to make sure that uh, you have normal levels and so if I play my track a little bit my podcast a little bit you can see oh wow that's a little loud right there but uh that's with the intro music uh, going on a little bit so this is pretty much my talking levels my peak is at negative uh, 1.2 so if i correct that it's really actually at this level as of right now because the music that was going on so this is a little bit of the less meter and usually it hangs around uh, 15 or 17 um and I'm not going into too much detail with this at all, but just uh, know that the bottom one's the quick one, top one is uh, long term, short term, long term. So this is pretty much uh, my levels, uh, what I have for uh, the podcasting, and so it's really cool, really cool stuff. Um, so that is uh, pretty much my setup I have, and uh, the next thing is. Um, where do I go to publish this uh, stuff? Like what website can I go to? And there's several websites out there, but the best one I could find, cause I was like researching what is the best place to go to. And the best place I could find is anchor.fm. Now in this video, I'm not sponsored by them. It'd be pretty cool if I was, but in this video I'm not, but on my podcast, I am sponsored by them. So anchor.fm is really good. Um, I really love uh, how they set it up. It's free to use. There's nothing at all, and you actually do make money from them. So uh, if you have them as one of your sponsors for the start, middle, uh, not towards the end, they don't like it when you have the sponsors at the end. But if you have it in the middle or the beginning, uh, your sponsor, you actually get paid uh, to have your podcasts. And it's really cool. So I really love anchor.fm. Just go over there to the website and uh, publish your podcasts over there and they're going to help you uh, help you out uh, get it to Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify Podcasts 
and some other uh, places uh, like Anchor.fm as well, because that's a place where they have a lot of podcast episodes. So check me out. Uh, have uh, check out uh, see if you like those levels, because um, I don't want to spoil uh, any new episodes I have. So check it out. Uh, see if you like uh, my like little setup that I have and. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it with my tour. It's pretty simple. It's not really that expensive. It's pretty much like um, um, pretty much like a hundred fifty dollar uh, setup, uh, except for my dog. My dog costs like maybe around uh, three hundred dollars or something. And you can use this with GarageBand easily. Um, so this is pretty much my setup uh, that I have, and it's really useful. It's uh, for my taste, and so I just want to uh, let y'all know about. Yeah, so I really love it. Hopefully, uh, you'll t take some ideas off of this. So, let me know what you think about this, uh, guys. So, uh, what is y'all set up and all that? Uh, and so, uh, what are some of your uh, providers uh, that you have, like Anchor.fm or some other places? I'm curious. Uh, what are y'all setups? So, that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm Todd Blackman, your essential drummer, and I'll see you in the next one.